Parents Initiative uh, and well done to all the team involved in that one. Now here at Expo 2020, the Czech Republic Pavilion has an organic material on display that is really quite unique. Subfossil oak is a type of wood that has been hidden for hundreds to thousands of years and is well protected against decomposition. It has become highly sought after by archaeologists, scientists and manufacturers and Marek Landa from the Czech Republic Pavilion is here to tell us more. Thank you so much for coming back on the show. Very excited to have you here with us. Now, we want to know a little bit about this piece that you brought here in studio with us. This is 6,500 years old, this tree trunk is, which means almost 1,500 years before even the pyramids were made. Tell us more about this. Good morning. Uh, <laughs> telling about this piece, uh, I have to start a little bit broader because uh, these tree trunks been uh, found six, uh, six meters under, floor, under, the, under the ground. And uh, it's so well-preserved material that it's amazing how organic material could be actually preserved in so long time. We don't actually have so much evidence from uh, that time how, with, uh, how the weather looked like and uh, the environmental changes and uh, global warming. And these trees are actually a perfect scientific uh, material for museums and scientists to find out about the global warming and changes mm. and the climate. And uh, that's why... National History Museum uh, in London, Kew Gardens, uh, uh, National uh, Naturkunde Museum in Berlin and many other museums are actually taking these trees for the scientific research. And uh, this piece which I brought here is uh, slightly different because the material is so rare and so precious, artists love to use it for their art. So this is a called Artefact from a very famous artist, uh, uh, Jaroslav Prošek. And he actually made uh, from this wood 6,500 years old sculpture. And he's also making a crystal sister to this piece. And uh, on the pavilion you will see many sculptures from very famous artists like Sir Tony Craig, Anthony Craig and uh, Vlastimil Beranek. These sculptures are priceless just by the age. Mm. Listen, uh, every time I come into the uh, show, I park uh, up in sustainability park, and I walk past the Czech Pavilion, so I see uh, these displays, these sculptures, every single morning. And every morning I've wondered, what on earth is the history there? So today I'm getting those answers. <laughs> but I suppose the question I've got for you, Marek, is, is why are they at the Czech Pavilion? Why have you chosen to display these pieces at the Czech Pavilion this year? Well, basically, there is uh, more than 15 ton of these pieces, and uh, <laughs> Need uh, a big pavilion. super, super <laughs> rare, fa uh, super, super rare find. Mm. And uh, apparently, it's believed there's a lot of energy stored in these uh, trees, if you believe in energies. Mm. And we actually experienced there is so many people gathering around the trees, walking around, not mm. wanting to leave. And uh, so, something uh, really interesting is happening about this forest. Why did we decide to uh, bring it? Uh, there's going to be a much bigger exhibition in Paris. There is uh, 700 trees to be prepared for I cannot tell where. And uh, we actually experienced when we had an exhibition of these trees, they are so full of energy that people just don't want to leave that space. Wow. You might try to experience Well, that. maybe that's it. Maybe I've been attracted to the energy every time I walk <laughs> in. My, my view goes over there. So. Possibly. Mm -hmm. This is a sculpture from Vlastivil Beranek, 2.3 meters high made from this tree as well, mm -hmm. but you just saw sure. shown. I, I believe the, the wood itself contains a record of the Earth's climate, which is a priceless exactly. information for uh, archaeologists and scientists. How do you determine the age of a piece of wood such as this? Well, uh, the age of the wood was uh, carbon dated mm -hmm. in several laboratories, and uh, it's basically been determined uh, how old it is uh, by scientists. And exactly as you said, it's such an amazing evidence of how the weather and how the climate change uh, was 6,000 years ago. We love it when you come in studio because you bring us these beautiful ancient artifacts. And uh, please make sure you come back. Unfortunately, we've run short of time on this occasion. No Thank you so much for coming on the show and showing us. Uh, gosh, I really want to touch this. <laughs> you can't touch. This is not a museum. Years. You can have it in your hands if you want. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much for coming on the show, Marek. Pleasure. Good to see you. Have man. a good morning. Yeah, Thank you very much again. indeed. Make sure you go and check out uh, the display at the Czech Pavilion. Right fascinating that uh, after the break we explore the country that is home to the last remaining jungle in Europe 
Uh, can you guess which one that is? I can't. The answer after the break. <laughs>